involved in STEAM. Lori Wallace is live from River Oaks Elementary. She's got all the details. Hey, Lori. All the kids in golf getting to do all the fun stuff. I'm telling you guys, this is such a cool spot here at River Oaks Elementary. It's a bright future learning space. And as you take a look around the room, you're going to notice a lot of what I showed you at that last site, where you see some of that flexible learning space. You see that different seating. You see a non-traditional way of learning. And Jennifer Collier here to talk a little bit about how this is working here, because these kids just got a pretty big gift. They sure did. Um, this last fall, we had the opportunity to partner with UC Davis and SNAP the GAP team. Their um, young uh, girls from the age 10 to 12 were able to participate in an after school club. And we're going to hear from them in just a couple of minutes, I guess. And the best part about it is when this club was finished, they were thinking, wow, how can we have more? How can we get to do this? My friends want to. What could this mean for us? And here um, is the little bit kit. This is what it looks like. Okay. Um, and kiddos are going to get a chance. All of our four Fourth through seventh grade students are going to have access to this um, resource for STEAM. So this is science, technology, engineering, arts, and mathematics. And this um, resource is amazing how it aligns with teachers' um, already academic curriculum, their projects that they're already doing, where kids can have many, um, like you said, non-traditional ways of learning and yeah, expressing Yeah, and, and they learning. can take it with them, which is so cool. Now I want to talk to the kids over here who are busy working. What are you trying to make over here? I'm trying to make a sound buzzer. Okay, is it working out? Yeah, you uh, turn it on. And then you just have to, it works very well. You guys figured this out pretty quickly because they just opened this box just a few minutes ago. Now, you were a part of the Snap the Gap Club yeah. after school. What kind of things did you do in there that inspired you to want to do more? Uh, we made, like, little things, like the bat one, which one can help the, the society with, like, uh, blind people. When, if they're walking, they can use this, and they can um, actually uh, hear a beeping sound if they get cl too close to something, and it can help pets out with this cat machine thing that you can make, and it could automatically feed your cat. Well, that's pretty cool. One less job for me to do, and you like this non-traditional way of learning. How come? What are you able to do? Um, you're able to figure out ways to do things yourself, like you have to connect the circuits, and if it doesn't work out, you have to add different pieces, and you have to put them in certain orders, and if, and if something doesn't work out, you kind of have to take it apart, and either you can start on a new thing, or you can give up, but you probably shouldn't give up, because it's funner to keep going. When, um, when you start and then you go to your finish and a lot of problem solving a lot of problem solving so you can be anything you want when you grow up what do you think this is going to lead to for yeah, you maybe an engineer yes yeah. maybe an engineer that's what we want to hear great things happening in the Galt uh, school district you guys I'm going to send it back to you and get back to working on these projects over here good stuff Lori mm -hmm. just say waka 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 <laughs>